When I think about our internal customers, I think about you guys, the team members, right? Leaders fool themselves when they think they get to do because they don't. They have to lead. And it's the hardest thing I think as a leader. You gotta lead and you have to set your team up for success and you have to remove the processes, the bureaucracies, the jams, and you gotta let them run the field. So I think first off, it starts with great leaders, number one. My leaders, I need them to be the front to try to, to have employee retention. And it starts with how do we have personal goals? You know what I mean? What are really important items to you? And let's try to address those. And this same thing that we're doing here is what you should be doing with your team members. What do they want? There's no perfect company. There's no perfect person. I'm so far from perfect. But given the chance, everyone and anyone wants to correct and satisfy. Imagine if you do love the people here and you do like what you're doing, but certain things just are not great. Saying nothing's actually worse than being an asshole. Now, we don't want assholes. We're going to correct that. But I'd rather that happen and come out than nothing. So you can say it from a place of caring. The people who have been the most radically candid have gotten what they want or gotten answers. Radical candor is tough for people. Being radically candid, you have Office 5, you have your leader that you can go to. Shoot, you have a fourth, come talk to me, put a note on my desk. Let's talk about these things, because it's a value that I, am, I stand behind. Now, we set people up with that as a core value, which is a foundation of what Skyslope's built on. The perception is people see people leave and they go, oh, what happened, something went wrong. It's like, no, it's, it's not. Sometimes things go wrong, no doubt. But I don't have any qualms. We hire back a lot of the people that, that want to come back. And, and if they don't, and they found something better, like, that's awesome. I've worked for myself, I've worked at home, I've worked in an office, and I've worked in a big company like we are now. It's hard working for them, but some people thrive in that. Maybe someone wants to be home with their child more, and they need to work from home. They should look for a job that allows them to do that until we have, because we don't have that right now. So selfish as I want everyone to stay here, I want people to grow. And if we can't provide the platform for them to grow, you know, like, you know, if you can find something that suits your needs better, or hey, you know, I always tell people, like, what do you really want? Like, I, I ask people all the time, I don't care if you say, I want to work for Skyset for three years, get as much knowledge as I want, and then I want to go do my own thing. Props. I want you for those three years to bust. So let's figure out what your four-year plan is. Let's talk about what I need from you, and then what do you, what do you want from me? It starts with understanding that person and what they want. It starts with understanding what their goals are and then tying it back how Skyslope can help you get there. I think I might just have to teach a first session of how I learn goals because I've, I've seen what it's done to my life. I've seen at an early age of 20 what affirmation did, get, you know, positive affirmations. We need to get better, I think, at personal goals. We're so good at business, go, 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 but I think we would have better employee retention, we'd have better relationships, we'd have happier people. You know, you can't be in this business and not love people and not want to do good for people. I want everyone here to succeed. And if that's with Skyslope, high five. And if that's not with Skyslope, high five again. You know what I mean?